On today's vehicles, the increased use of advanced high strength steels really challenges the technician to know what type of steel is used and when they set up their welder, is it making the proper weld? Well, with us today to answer those questions is Ron Olson, president of ProSpot International. Welcome, Ron. Thank you very much. Thanks now, for having me. Thank you. Ron, I was walking by your booth and I noticed you have this brand new piece of equipment, the I-5. Yeah, the I-5 is, uh, is designed to take the guesswork out of the, the resistance bar welding. It has an auto mode where it act, uh, actually automatically senses the current across the metals before it welds it and al always set the correct weld settings. That's nice. Now, I noticed you have a sample here showing all these different layers of steel, including what most people know with boron. Exactly. And uh, as you can see here, we have actually a, a series of, of weld samples here. There's, there's two layers. Uh, three layers, four layers, five layers, it's all the way up to six layers, which is almost six millimeter thick here. Okay. And then we have uh, one piece of boron steel uh, onto this galvanized metal here. And all this welding here with I-5 was done without changing any settings. So if I went over the two-sided or the three layers and the four layers, it automatically set the correct weld settings. As you notice on the weld, uh, diameter and the weld nugget itself, it stays very consistent and the same, even though it was huge difference in the thicknesses. Yeah, because I'm looking at the heat zone and on all the layers, it's, it's consistent. It's really nice. It is. And uh, as I said, it's extremely easy to use that way. The, the welder is also available in the manual mode, but um, with the, with the uh, outer mode, what we can do is we, we, with this color screen here, it's a touch screen, so we can touch uh, the two-sided weld button, here we can select between the auto and, and the manual. And here we come to, we can also select the different uh, uh, electrodes that you like to, to use. And then we have a, a setting that makes the, uh, as you can see here, we have a, a thickness measurement. So when we do the weld, we also know the thickness of the, mesh, of the metals. It's a very important ingredient to make a, a good automatic weld. So I so, you have a couple of different scales here. One shows the thickness, one shows the quality of the weld. Is that correct? Yeah, the, the other scale shows the, the rate of the resistance across that weld piece. So you're going to see that this one moves up and down depending on what metal you, you're actually welding. Now that's going to be really important because I notice on this I-5 piece of equipment you have a 16-foot cable yes. that runs it so I can actually, as a technician, move around the vehicle freely without having to move the piece of equipment itself. Correct. Uh, and that, that's, a, that's a big advantage because when we have what we call the trans gun, with this gun, the transformer is now a lot smaller. We use a lot higher frequency uh -huh. than we do on the traditional welders. So therefore, the transformer and the rectification package is a lot smaller. It actually fits under the gun here now, and it's all water-cooled. So uh, therefore, we can get away with a lot longer weld cable, nice. which makes it more convenient. Now, I'm sure a question that people are watching are going to ask, you know, how heavy is that unit? It is about 22 pounds, okay. and uh, you know, so yes, they're they're getting heavier uh, with all this in, in it. But there's, um, I can pick it up and show sure. it to you. Now, the one but, thing I noticed that when I picked it up earlier before I did the broadcast is that it felt really balanced. Yeah, it, it is well balanced, which makes a big difference in the weight. Correct, and there's certain features, and uh, you know, it's easy to weld and weld sound. But on a real car, sometimes if you need to go over a rear body panel. You, you have to, sometimes on some of them, you have to loosen the arm and move it and so forth. What we have, we kept our invention here with a double acting gun, so we can just push the oh, button nice. and come over the wide area. And that way it makes it a lot easier for the technician. They don't have to let go of the grip. That's really good. So, so that's a feature that makes it feel lighter to yes. work with, easier to work with. And it still comes with all the different tips and attachments yep. like you have on all your other equipment, right? Exactly. It has has the extension arms, the wheelhouse tips, and, and the C2X adapter as well. And if it does in. seem to get a little heavy from time to time, you can always go back to the cable yes. which acts, counterbalances exactly. it. Yeah. And, uh, and we have a remote uh, tool balancer as well that you can keep up at the car and hang the welding head there as you do the work. Nice. And it sits on a tool balancer that just That's pulls really the weight nice. down like that. Yeah. So basically, it's got everything I need to work on today's advanced steels. It's going to basically read the steels, set the weld, and also too in your past equipment you also had a method to record the weld data Correct. on each vehicle. Yes, uh, such as the I-4 welder of ours, we also have a log that keeps every weld recorded, the date, the time, 
the power settings and, and the feedback on that is That's also it. recorded and it could be downloaded and uploaded through a, a USB port that nice. resides on the panel here. Real nice. So, uh, and the same thing when we get new upgraded information, we can put that, uh, upgrade that through the USB. Now this unit also has the OEM information in it on how to properly install their components. Correct. As was mentioned in CIC yesterday, they talked about you know following the OEM recommendations. Yes. And so in that case there, you have them all built into the machine. Correct. And what you can do is <clears throat> you can go to the uh, these settings uh, easily here with the touch screen. And in the OEM section, we have, as you know, we have over 3,000 screens of repair data that we have from certain uh, OEMs that are uh, working with us and, and give us information uh, that makes it easier for the technician. They can get this information normally through the repair manuals and so forth, but we have a reciting here on the, uh, on the unit itself. And by basically uh, clicking away here, you know, you can go to different parts, <laughs> structure identification here, for example, on the F-150, we have a lot of high-strength steels yes. and so forth in the body, and here you can have <laughs> all that information uh, available right on the screen. Now, at sometimes these, this, this information changes. How would the person keep that update updated? Uh, we update it as we get more information available. And uh, is it done do through is, a disk or is it, it done through the yeah, internet? Yeah, it's it's done through uh, through a USB uh, memory stick, and which could be emailable as right. well. So it, as soon as you put it in, it explodes in and update the software automatically. Very nice. So this really makes it easier for the technician, puts everything at their fingertips and assures a good quality weld. Exactly. And uh, this, is, this is where we're going with this. It's uh, taking the, especially with the new steel, it's very, very difficult to identify what steels the technicians are welding. Yes, Especially absolutely. when it's painted and primed already. So Wonderful. makes it a lot easier. Well, Ron, thank very you good. so much for helping clear up some of the issues. And yeah. we appreciate you taking time out of your day. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you.